Hello Cancer, this is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss with your February 2021 mini tarot reading. Happy Valentine's Day and thanks for stopping by today. I so appreciate you. Um, let's take a shuffle here and see what's coming up for you. Please remember this is a general reading and if you'd like one just about you, please stop by my website. I've included the link below. Click on it, get yourself set up, and we'll get to it as quickly as we can. And also, please remember to check your sun, your moon, and your rising sign, as a lot of times they will connect more or as much as your sun sign does. So with that said, Cancer, let's see what's coming up for you in February. Here we go. Wow. It says, you know, if you're going to be standing up to people, excuses are gone now. You don't have to be mean about it, but believe in your... Believe in what you want. Don't be talked into, oh, let's move these over, or out of something you're really wanting to accomplish here. Seems like there's been a little bit of turmoil in that area, whether that's at work or at home. It seems like, you know, two people seem to be butting heads or more about something that can be resolved if they would just sit down and talk about it. It says sometimes... To get through to clarity, there has to be a mishap or a, a winner or a loser, however you want to put that. But I just feel here that I should tell you, if you have a good idea, stand up for yourself and, and talk about it. You don't have to do it in a mean, ignorant way. You can just say, you know, could you just hear me out here? I got an idea. Because I think your idea will clear up something either at work or at home, maybe even at both. So it's your ideas... Um, could really make things a lot easier for folks around you. And yes, it might have started with a disagreement or even an argument, but it looks like victory could certainly find, find its way through this with a little bit of perseverance. Worried about work, so many people. Worried about their jobs, worried about their income, worried about you know getting their kids, their schooling and whatnot. Um, it's just been like, oh, energy that is just so chaotic. Um, Sometimes best course of action is to step back and say, can I fix this now or what do I need to do to resolve this? Sometimes just saying it out loud or thinking it to yourself will make things appear or you'll get an idea or a thought or you might even be sitting if you are lucky enough to be able to go to a restaurant in your area. You might hear someone talking at another table and it has nothing to do with what you were thinking but it sparked something in you. So I just feel like your ideas are going to um, marinate in a sense and then you're going to be able to do a lot you're going to be able to do a lot with them and it'll be how you present it or how you talk about it and I just feel that you've waited for quite a while for some of you about uh, standing up for yourself or saying you know what this needs to be done or this is how it is that's not how this is presented it's like you know I've got an idea let's see if we can sit down and, and work through this or talk about it and you're going to feel like a winner. And there's nothing better than feeling like a victor. Even though we can't change the past, we can learn from it and try to move forward. It says quickly things could change here in a good way. Um, wouldn't, that would be just wonderful because there's so much stuff going on in the world right now. And it says that with the change, with this change, for those of you that do have your little meeting or your hissy fit or whatever you want to call this, it does bring new beginnings for you. So don't give up on your idea. Don't give up on what you think maybe someone needs to hear. But please choose your words wisely in your place of doing it. It says the decisions you make could be wonderful. Um, but it'll be in a way, again, how you present it. Gosh, that was just, I just had the same thought with, with another sign here, pretty much the same. It says um, experience. The experience you have, remember, can help you in other areas. Like let's just say that you got laid off from your job or your hours are cut. The experience you've learned from being home and how to multitask or how to, you know, work on your computer with your child on your lap, I know how hard that, how hard that can be, um, is going to bring something to you. It's going to be like an empowerment or you're going to see how, um, how many things you never thought you could do that you can do. And it says counsel could be needed. Now, counsel could be, um, we're talking about work or looking for work, could be a, a headhunter. It could be a business that's starting up new. With everything that's going on, a lot of places are changing the way they do business. Maybe they're doing more online stuff. Well, sharpen up your computer skills. 
Um, if you're, you have an idea for a business that you can run from home, maybe check into that and see what's going on. It says there's just so many opportunities <clears throat> that are going to evolve from the last year of how the world has been, so to speak, or with the virus and staying home and shopping from home and doing all this kind of stuff, no travel. I believe that's going to change throughout the year slowly. We will move forward and back to the way things were <coughs> Excuse me. before um, this virus came, but I think they'll be done a little different, um, improved actually in some ways. But we just want to make sure that we don't isolate ourselves so much that we don't need humans in our life on our earth walk because I think we are people that need to be with people or at least have that contact. So many folks I talk to haven't been with their family for months and I know how I understand how lonely that can be but how unselfish of them to have done what they're doing. Look at it that way if that's what's going on with you. You have not been selfish. Um, you've followed the rules, so to speak. It says, if you're, are you meditating? That's what I heard to ask. I hope you are, because if you are, you're going to be getting a lot of messages or inklings or ideas. Even if it's for 30 seconds, two, two minutes. You know, we all say, oh, we just don't have time. You need to make time for something like that. It's going to help bring some peace about for you. Um, or maybe just, you know, lower your heart rate. <laughs> Um, because even though, you know, things aren't quite so hectic, maybe going to the work office, but it says there's a lot of pressure on folks now to get things done, to make ends meet, to change the way they're doing things. So I just have a feeling that if you could take some time and find a way to calm yourself, whether it be if you can go outside for a walk, that would be great. If you could just listen to the ocean or to the water or whatever it might be that helps bring you that calm. I don't, if it's five minutes, that's five minutes of peace that you didn't have. It's going to lead to something for you. You're going to find by taking care of you, it's easier to take care of others. It says that um, I, something's in the works for you, something you've wanted. Um, maybe you've been looking for a job or wanting to look for a job. So I'm just saying that if you're getting a, a twinge or an, you know a poke to call someone or call someone or do it because you're going to have regrets if you don't. I'm not saying that, you know, you got to quit your job and change jobs, but sometimes our intuition is, uh, you know, gee, I wish I would have called that person. Now I found out they just moved to London. You know, now I'm not going to get to see them. So it says just if you get an, um, a little kick or a little pinch to do that, it might be a good time to make that call or see if you can see that person or even just send to shoot them an email or however you communicate. Um, it says there will be an improvement slowly over the next few months, but at least there's optimism here. There's, you know, I can do this. This is going to work for me. I'm going to change something about it. And um, it, when you get inspired, write it down. If you're a writer, if you're a painter, get your paints out. If you're just wanting to feel good about yourself, that's good too. Find what it is and do it. I know that sounds so simple, but it really is. If, uh, you know, arranging flowers makes you happy, get some flowers. If, if reading a book makes you happy, take the time to do it. You know, if you should be mopping the floor at home and making supper and doing all this, you know, the floor can wait one day. I don't know if supper can, but the floor could. Take that time for yourself and you will not be disappointed. It says you'll be making some choices here real quick. For the next, for this is February for next month and the month after, and it's going to bring joy not only for you but those around you. And with that said, this is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss. I so appreciate you dropping by to see me, and I'll see you again next month. You got this.